truck driver Swusiso Siaya has abandoned his bail application. The matter has been remanded to October the 25th. He's allegedly responsible for the horror of Pongolo crash, horrific hor Pongolo crash rather, that claimed 20 lives. Senior reporter Desan Thathi is at court and joins us this morning. Good morning, Desan. So, from what we heard last week, there was a desire to apply for bail. We also understood that there was a strict instruction not to capture his image because he, there was a problem around his safety. And now there's an about turn. He, does no, he no longer wants to apply for bail. Well, that's exactly what happened. So initially, uh, you know, that was what the bulk of the proceedings were about, about media access. In fact, the, the, the bail application part of it was very short because as soon as the media access issue was sorted out, the court was told that he had in fact abandoned his bail application. But during the arguments for media access, the state was arguing there that this is a matter that is in the public interest. His identity is already known, so it's not going to jeopardize the case. There will still be a fair trial. The arguments, as you know from the defense in this case, were that uh, his life is in danger, whether he's outside, whether he's outside, or whether he's he's behind bars. It's because there's a lot of anger in the community. Also, another development is that last week it was a legal aid representative that he had, but now he has private representation in the form of Nkosinati Sitoli. So he's representing him. But uh, with all that said. The decision now was now made to, to decide that he will, in fact, remain behind bars. There were a few community members that were gathered here outside the court. In fact, uh, I spoke to this gentleman, Jabu Hansen, last week outside court. I just want to bring him into the conversation. You would have heard now that, uh, that, that the bail application has been abandoned. But I also know that you and other community members had signed a petition earlier to that effect. Yes, uh, that's true, Jason. Uh, good day to the viewers at home. Yes, uh, we did sign a petition earlier on to say we're opposing the accused giving bail. So that went accordingly because as you witnessed inside the court, uh, after the application by you guys, the media houses, and the accused abandoned uh, his bail application. So as a community, we are very pleased with that outcome. Mm. What's been the general sentiment, the mood in the community in the past week? We've seen a lot of attention on Pongola. We've seen a government coming here to pledge assistance. And sadly, we've seen also the, the, the funerals of all of those that passed away. Where do we stand now if we look at the, the general sentiment in the community? Look, it's been a, a mood of sort of an ambivalence feeling whereby you, you've got us as the community. We are very sad. Uh, at what happened on the N2. At the same time, we were a bit pleased that finally the Department of Transport and all the government authorities uh, finally paid uh, 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 attention to us and they were here and promises were made. And at the beginning of the week, we're looking forward into seeing uh, the minister fulfill his promises. I hear now uh, the National Traffic Police are somewhere uh, as you enter town, but we want to see more of them on the N2, especially from Michele Chuba side, on that big downhill. But it's still early in the week. I'm hoping he's going to deliver uh, on his promises. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your time. And Fundo, it's unfortunate that it had to happen in this way with the loss of so many lives, but it would seem then that finally the cries of the Pongola residents is being heard. And they are now, as you heard, they're starting to see some of the, those interventions and extra police officers that will be monitoring this road just uh, in, that intersects this town, the N2. Mm -hmm. It's a plus, but unfortunate indeed that it took the loss of lives. Thank you very much for that update, Desson. That's a senior reporter, Desson Thalthamunya.